I am part of the Texas A&M Kingsville American Chemical Society. Hello, and I'm a student here at the chemistry department of Texas A&M Kingsville. Prussian blue is known to be used as a pigment, dye, and even medication. You probably recognize this color in the blue tones of Van Gogh's Starry Night. Now this is the chemical reaction for the synthesis of Prussian blue. When ferric chloride is added to an excess of potassium ferrocyanide, Prussian blue and potassium chloride is produced. Here you can see the characteristic yellow color of ferric 3 chloride hexahydrate. Potassium ferrocyanide has a clear, transparent color. To make sure that we are not contaminating the pipette, we are releasing the ferric chloride well above the potassium ferrocyanide, so we can go ahead and add some more ferric chloride. As you can see, the color quickly changes, which indicates the formation of Prussian blue. So now we're going to see what happens when we add potassium ferrocyanide to an excess of ferric chloride. As you can see here, especially with the help of the light, the solution is not completely dissolved. In summary, the first reaction you saw was when ferric chloride was added to an excess amount of potassium ferrocyanide. It's the potassium ions around the complex that makes the bond more ionic and the product soluble. When iron chloride is in excess and potassium ferrocyanide is added to it, the excess iron three atoms make the molecule more covalent. The potassium is reacted out completely as potassium chloride and thus the product is insoluble. On behalf of the ACS student chapter and the chemistry department at Texas A&M Kingsville, thank you for watching.